This is my micro PC setup, and I'm excited to share it with you and why there might be a use case for a mini PC and a small monitor such as this. Let me get it into our shot here so that we can take a look at what we have. So we have two devices here and an attachment that helps it all come together. Now, the reason that I've got this configuration here is really just to show the usability of something like a mini PC. Underneath this display, which is from Wimaxit, I think is how you say it, this is a high resolution, small, compact display. It pops right off of this magnetic mount because on the back of it, I added a MagSafe attachment. And so this is essentially a magnetic sticker you can get that is MagSafe compatible. This uh, attachment here is from Ulanzi, which is a MagSafe magnet that has a quarter 20 in the back of it, and that's mounted to this suction cup mount from PGY Tech. And that's mounted to this mini PC from TrigKey, I think is how you pronounce their name. So the reason that I have this configuration put together really is just to show the possibilities of what you can use a mini PC and a small display like this for. Now, the benefits of this mini PC is that it has multiple inputs. It has two USB type A, ports on the front of it. So as we look at the front of this, it has two USB type A high speed ports, a USB type C and a headphone jack. And then on the back of this device, we also have ports. We have here a LAN port. And so we can connect to high speed ethernet. We've got a USB type A. We've got two of those ports. We have a display port and an HDMI port. And then of course, uh, the plug for power. And so there's a lot of ports on this little tiny device, but it packs a lot of punch. Not only is this just a small PC and form factor, but it has uh, AMD Ryzen 7, it's a 5000 series CPU, and then it also has graphic support as well, which is really good. Let's actually pull this up. We'll go into the settings here and look at all of the specs. This is running Windows 11. You can see we've got AMD Ryzen 7 5800H with Raiden graphics at 3.2 gigahertz. We've got 16 gigs of internal RAM. We're running 64-bit architecture in Windows 11 Pro. And this is great because this is full Windows 11 Pro running on a tiny device. It comes with it pre-installed and then connected simply to this display, which is awesome. Let's take a look at the different resolution options here for the display. Everything is really small right now because this is a full HD display, but it's not just HD. I mean, most HD HD displays are not going to be this pixel dense. A lot of times they're going to look more like this and that's fine. I mean, this is very readable now being at 150%, but down at 100%, we can fit a ton of information on this display. And that's what I find different about this display over a lot of the others that I've come in contact with. Obviously a display like this could be used in a PC configuration where you've got HDMI coming into the side of it and power. You could use this in a video configuration where maybe I've got this attached to a camera and I've got power over USB and I've got HDMI coming in from my camera. And so a display like this can have a lot of use cases. But beside the display being really good, and I mean, you can see a nice background image here that I have. This is a photo that I took with my drone in Alaska and it's a, a great photo. We can also pull up a web browser. How convenient, it's got all of my courses pulled up. And so make sure to go to courses.jaredhill.com if you wanna learn photography, if you wanna learn WordPress, web design or anything like that. I've got courses there. Many of them are free. There's lots of things that you can do on a display that has the pixel density that this display has because at its size, it's very portable. And as I showed you when we were kind of flipping the display around, this is a very thin display. This is really about the size of an iPad. That's very portable, very easy to take with you. And when you add that magnetic sticker to the back, it makes it very easy to mount this on pretty much anything. So with that aside, what kind of performance performance do we get out of this mini PC? Now, the performance that you can expect out of a device like this is actually pretty decent for its size. You can see right here, and I'll put this information larger on the screen so that you can see it, the TrigKey PC scored a single core of just under 1200 and a multi-core of just under 6600. That doesn't sound like a lot, but when you compare it to other devices like the current Surface 9 Pro with 
1535 single core. Yes, of course, that's 1200. That's a little bit less. And 6323 is actually a little bit less in the multi core performance than what this mini PC has. That's actually really good performance for something so small. When we compare it to the current version of the Surface Laptop Studio, those numbers also are pretty impressive. And so those are expensive devices with, of course, built in displays. They're full on laptops, but you can get that kind of performance out of something small and tiny like this and connect it to any display you have. You could use this remotely very easily. All you need is an internet connection and there's just endless use cases for a mini PC. Looking at the compute scores for the Trig Key, 17,467. If you compare that to the Surface Pro 9, it outperforms the Surface Pro 9. Obviously, it's not going to outperform the Surface Laptop Studio because the Surface Laptop Studio has its own built-in RTX 3050. And uh, this device, like most other small devices like this, just have onboard graphics, so graphics that are on board with the CPU. But when you look at that 17,000, almost 500, and compare that to some of the other devices that I have on this list, and then of course comparing it to anything else that has similar specs, this actually has quite a bit of performance under the hood, which is why I wanted to take a look at it and make this ridiculous little mini PC configuration here. There's lots of use cases for small PCs that get into small spaces that don't take up a lot of room, that are very low on power consumption, and has a full port set that you would expect from any sort of desktop PC. This has more ports than the typical laptop and about the same amount of ports as the average desktop PC. So what are some use cases for a little PC like this? Well, this would make a great device for live streaming, something that runs the software that your live stream is running through. Obviously, this wouldn't have enough performance to handle a big live stream where you've got lots of encoding taking place. But if your encoding is happening in a separate device, such as like with one of the Atom devices that handles all of its own encoding from Blackmagic Design, then you're really just using this for its connection. And you can run something like OBS on this and run OBS right out to whatever streaming service you're using. And it would be fantastic. It would more than handle something like that. Something like this could handle light video editing and light photo editing. With the performance that it has, though it's not high performance, it has enough performance to get the job done. This could definitely be a backup PC or something that you travel with that gives you a full set of ports that allows you to Bluetooth connect to peripherals like keyboard and mouse and gives you the ability to still get things done where you might need to bring something larger to get that kind of flexibility. A little device like this could also easily be connected to remotely by just having it turned on and connected to internet at your office or at your home and using it as a networked server that running just Windows, you can run lots of software on a device like this that could work as your media device locally could work as a small server for hosting files and stuff off site. There's lots of opportunities for a small PC like this. So I know I've just covered a few things that I would use it for. With a small PC like this, what would be your use case? A device like this would definitely be a direct competitor with some, something like the Intel NUC. I think that's how you pronounce it. There's lots of mini PCs that have come out on the market, but it's impressive the kind of performance that they're packing into these at the price point that they're made available. So check out the links in the description below. I've got links to all of this stuff to make this little crazy concoction that I set up here, but definitely there are a lot of things you could do with a mini PC. Check out the links below. If you thought this video was useful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to let me know what you would use a mini PC like this for down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.